I have a question for you. Do any of you like cars? You do like cars. You like cars. Why do you like cars? Because they're fun. Why do we like cars? They take you places? That's right. They take us places. Anybody ever want this kind of car? What kind of car is this? It's a race car, that's right. Why do you want a race car? Because it's fast, that's right, that's right. The great thing about race cars is they're, they're fast. How about a pickup truck? Anybody want a pickup truck? We've got some, some, some adults in here. They, you've got a race car and a, and a, looks like a truck there too. It's a monster truck. What do you like about monster trucks? Because they crush cars. They're big and strong and sturdy, aren't they? And sometimes we like pickup trucks because they're strong and they're sturdy and they they can carry things. How how about this? How about a minivan? Anybody want a minivan? We've got a few people saying no. We've got a few people raising their hands, yes. A a minivan, it it helps get a lot of people places, right? Especially if you have a big family and... um, You can carry your family around in it, and it's a very practical car. What do these cars have in common? What do they all have in common? They all have tires. What else? They all have windows. Now, what happens when the car doesn't go anymore? It doesn't have any gas, that's right. What about when it doesn't go even if you put gas in it? The tires are flat. You might take it to a shop. You might get new tires. When a car doesn't go anymore and it can't be fixed very easily, a lot of times what happens to it is it goes into a place called a junkyard. Now, does that look like a very happy place? It does not, does it? A big old stack of old, broken down cars. Now, what would happen if somebody went to the junkyard and picked a car from there? Do you think it would work? I want to tell you about a truck that my uncle got. It was a 1956 old truck, brown in color. And he he found it it had all kinds of problems. And he worked, and he worked, and he got his son, and they worked. And guess what? That old 1956 truck, it ran again. Why do you think that was? Why do you think he would want to go get that truck? Why do you have this car? Because you love it, right? You love to play with that one, right? He loved that truck. And he didn't want to give up on it, so he worked really hard to restore it. Sometimes people break down, too. Sometimes we get really upset and we cry a lot. Sometimes we get really angry and we want to yell all the time. Sometimes we want to go and we want to hide. But you know what? No matter how broken down we feel, God never sends us to the junkyard. God always wants to restore us, to make us whole again, to make us able to to go again, to able to praise God again. And that's because God loves us. So our Bible story today is about how God wants to restore us. God wants to make us able to go again. God wants us to, to be able to do the things that we were made to do, whether it's to help out carry people around or or to go really fast or to to be able to carry lots of things and be sturdy. But most of all, to be able to love each other. God never sends us to the junkyard. Let's pray. Holy God, dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for never giving up on us. For coming to broken and helping put us back together. Thank you for never giving up on us.